Android Pie just went official this week and it's already available on Google's Pixel and the Essential phone. Let's take a look at the five best new features. The first big change that you should try in Android Pie is the new gesture navigation system. While these new gestures won't be for everyone, they do provide a very natural feeling way to interact with your smartphone, and they work great in my experience. If you want to try them out, check out the link below for a post on how to enable them on the Google Pixel. Another handy addition to Android Pie, at least on Google's own hardware, is the new Markup Screenshot Editor. This tool makes it very easy to crop and even draw on screenshots you've taken before you share them in messages or on social media. To use it, simply take a screenshot and tap the edit button. Google has made it clear that AI plays a huge role in Android Pie, and that's most clear in the adaptive brightness and battery features. Adaptive brightness learns from how you set your brightness in certain situations and automatically adjusts it based on your preferences. Adaptive battery also uses your patterns to better prioritize how Android manages resources to ensure you get the most out of a charge. The multitasking screen has also gotten a huge makeover in Android Pie. It now shows apps in full-size cards which you can swipe through to switch between apps, and you can even copy and paste text from the multitasking card. It's also easy to switch back and forth between apps with the new swipe gesture. Finally, the other big part of Android Pie that we hadn't had a chance to play with until now is digital well-being. This new feature allows users to keep better tabs on their smartphone usage throughout the day and keep things in their proper place. Our own Abner Lee has a full hands-on with the digital well-being beta on 9to5google.com, so head over there for more information on that feature. What's your favorite new feature of Android Pie so far? Drop a comment down below and let us know, and also be sure to subscribe to 9to5google for more videos like this, and stay tuned to 9to5google.com for the latest news.